Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Today we're gonna go to uh, another town, and with us today we have Adam. Hey. And he's gonna help me, and hopefully torment me for the thing. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'll be honest, I would have taken the same starter your rival did, just because nobody uses Chikorita. Okay. Like, seriously, I mean, everybody, like, I mean, I, I think you saw the comment Kenmeister left on your first part, how you didn't pick the overrated one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody picks Sunderquill just about. And that, or Totodile, but, like, I don't, I hardly ever see it, anybody pick Chikorita, just because it's, well, I mean, the first two gyms, it gets destroyed. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, do I have to head on to Route Fate 2? Yeah, you have to go south, and you have to go, you have to go through a cave, and then it comes out yeah. by a Slowpoke Well in Azalea Town. Oh, wait, sorry, wait, wait, was it, wait, 32 or 36? I'm uh, not sure, no, remember, all I know is you have to go south. South, alright, south then. Yeah, it's probably 32, because, because they go in order. Alright. over here. Tree Baron Tree, ah! Oh, the Perskerberry! I'm gonna ask Paralyze this thing, is it? Is it? It's time to do the Powerless Heal, whatever. Yeah, uh, what those do is that if you give them the whole, like, the, the, the one that heals paralysis, for example. There you go, found it. It'd be, like, make them hold it, like, let's say I hit you with Thunder Wave and paralyze you. Yeah. It'll cure you right then and there, effectively wasting my turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, found out already found that guy. Right, let's go find some more weight. Yeah, you know, I'll be honest, I kind of prefer those names to the ones they give them in Gen 3, like... Like, berries are orange berries. Yeah. The, the ones that cure sleep are, I think, chesto berries. I think cherry berries are the one that cure paralysis. Uh, stuff like yeah. that. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, also, what do you think of me calling my uh, Tomodot Lisa of Force? Mm. It's weird how it, I mean, it kind of does. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I think he's, an, uh, he's just an unarmed blue one. Yeah. I mean, he does look a little bit like it, but, you know, come on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think he would have come up with a Zelda name for the other two. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, ran, I found a Ranata. That's nice. It's Return of the Ranatas. Jesus Christ. All right, got Return, of, Return and, of the typical Goomba. Yeah. Right. Uh, which should I do? Oh, I realized this is Fuzz and Shield did have exactly the same HP. Ah, I didn't realize that. Too late. Uh, I'm gonna switch it to you. Oh, oh, actually, you know how I was telling you about the starter's base stats? Yeah. I actually uh, did make a mistake. For Alligator and Meganium both had the same defense base at 100. Oh, okay. But Meganium has the highest special defense, so... Alright, alright. Apparently, immediately does tackle. Yeah, whatever. And you know, he's the battle music slightly different at night, too. Is it? Huh. Oh, yeah, that sucks. It's slightly different. Okay. Also, I just realized that uh, Keith learned Supersonic. I don't know. I don't know if Supersonic is really that great, but I think it's only like 55 or 60 percent accuracy. Wow. When you get confused, Ray, on the other hand, it's 100 accuracy, and it That's does good. the same thing. Okay. I'll tell you what, though. If you, you know what would have really been mean? Yeah. Is that, I think I PM'd you about it, but have you ever, you want to know the ultimate way to tick off your opponents? Oh wait, is it the thing with, uh, you, you, you confuse them, you paralyze them yeah. and poison them? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, parafusion attraction. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. They only have like a 20% chance of actually doing anything, because first of all, it, they have to get through confusion, and then they have to get past... I forget what order is. I think they have to get through confusion, then they gotta bust through paralysis, and then they still gotta get through a tract. My god. And, I'll th and the, I think you said there's a 20% chance of um, that um, working. Like, I mean, like, uh, oh, possibly. I mean, a no, only a 20% chance of them actually attacking yeah, that's through it. all of that. Yeah, that, that's what I mean, yeah. So. Uh, like okay. I said, half the time they're gonna hit themselves. Yeah. And then if they get past that, there's still a chance of them getting paralyzed. Okay. And then they still have to. And then there's another 50 50 chance with uh, a track. Okay. Which is why 
female Pokemon are especially overpowered in this game because, I mean, like, if you had, say, a female Pikachu, yeah, like, give it Thunder Wave and Attract, so okay. now, you can, because what happens is major stats, you know, that change the level, we'll say, like, like PAR or, or PSN or something. Yeah. They, they, they can't stack with each other, but they can stack with minor ones, like Confusion and Attraction. Alright. That's accidentally chose, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's fight in that bell spot. Also, I, really, I just realized the music is slightly lower pitched. Just slightly. I think that's yeah, the difference. That's how it is at night. Yeah. So is, it, is it the same with Kanto? No, um, they actually play a, uh, they actually have completely different battle music in Kanto. Uh, oh, alright. Right, Dad. Same right. with the gym leader, it's also different. Yeah. Alright, let's go fight his trainer and then immediately switch out. So, alright. Another, another thing. Oh, so you're not a youngster, All right? Albert, huh? Albert Einstein. Oh, never made that joke again. Oh, yeah, and also the old fashioned uh, youngsters throwing out radicals everywhere. Actually. Yeah. It's just like, oh, it's just like the la laughs. They always seem like Jigglypuff and stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. Same with the beauties. They, um, actually, the only thing about beauties is that they drop, they give a lot of money when defeated. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Wait, it, that's the same in the old ones, isn't it? The other ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the beauties give more money than other trainers. Oh my god, I almost killed in one hit. Yeah, the like Rattata isn't exactly strong, you know. I know. He was level 6, and I almost killed him, but... Anyway, with just one scratch. Oh, another one. Not to use Zubat! Oh, fucking great! <laughs> Let's start with the z so why not? Yeah, when you get to a Goldenrod City, um, make sure you have some money handy, because you definitely want to buy the Ice Punch TM for Totodile. Okay. So you can take out flying and grass types on his own. Oh yeah, wait, oh, oh, Totodile can learn, uh, Ice Punch. Yeah, yeah, you can buy a TM that'll teach it to him. Oh, that's really also cool. that cheap Pokemon I was telling you about, Marie, when you evolve it to, I think, Flappy, yeah. You can actually teach it all three elemental punches via the TM. Oh, that's Thunder cool. Punch of highest importance because the only other electric type attack it learns in this yeah. game is Thunder. But if you have a move called Rain Dance, you can actually make Thunder never miss. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, wait, what, uh, where did you? Where can I find my Reap again? Is it on the route I'm in, or? Uh, yes, but I, I. I want to say it's only during the day, but I'm going to double check. I'm on Bulbapedia right now. Okay. Uh, I really want to get that guy. Oh, hey, it's not a bell spot. Jesus Christ. Also, I still got an egg. I didn't read your message yet. I didn't read it, so... Just wait yeah, to... Yeah, you might as well just hatch it in for the sake of hatching it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, fine whip. That... Did quite a lot of damage. All right, that that's pretty bad. Yeah, four quite special defense combined with a four X weakness and stab. That's eight okay, that's six X damage. Yeah. All right, let's see where. Let's see. Hold on, okay, I'm looking for the information on it. All right. Shouldn't have sent that Geo dude. Actually, it's a really stupid idea. All right. So what's over here on the left? Yeah. Oh, it's a Pokeball here! Like I said, what? the only problem with, uh, like I said... Okay, here we go, it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, you can get it, it doesn't say, like, during what time... It doesn't, it looks like you can get it any time, based on this. Oh, okay. I need to find one. No, I don't want a Radita, though. At level 4, no way. Well, like I said, it's not. Uh, it is slow, but when it's fully evolved, its special attack is really good. Yeah, that's gonna be really great to have then. Well, what type yeah. is it? Electric. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. 
Oh, one, you know how um, Faulkner said, like, I won't allow such insults to my bird Pokemon? Yeah. There's actually no way to get an electric type for the fight against him unless you trade from another game, or in your case, Game Shark in an electric type. Oh, okay. And even if you did, it, Pidgeotto could just use Mud Slap on you to hit super effective anyway. Oh, okay. Right, let's see. Well, my Keese is now at level 7. And yes, I call him Keese again because why not? That's what I like to do. I mean, for you guys, you should know that I love, you know, you should know that I love doing this, so... I call, I try to name as much things as possible from Zelda. Also, yeah. I, I still don't know why I call it Caterpie and Mothla, but... I don't know what you're gonna call. If you do catch Mareep, I don't know uh, what you're gonna call it, because... Are there any sheep-based enemies in Zelda? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Uh yeah, well, well, I mean, I could send you a link to what it looks like fully evolved. Right. Well, the only difference is when it's fully evolved, it's just, like, yellow colored with a white stomach. It's got, like, a, almost has, like, a weird, uh, well, the thing is, it stands on two feet, but okay. it kind of has a tail, like, oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that annoying-ass boss from the Tower of Hera? Molton. Yeah, it's like, it has a tail like that. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I might know what you're talking about. I think I've actually seen that before. Alright, Mom, Mom, what did you want? Oh, hang on a second, guys. Getting interrupted. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had to read some Portuguese stuff, and then I had to look at the new Pokemon. And I'm gonna try and think of his other name, but I can't really think of it yet. Well, there isn't really another electric type you can get for a while, unless you want to pull it out for Magnemite. Nah. Alright, critical hit. Talk about critical hits, just got one. The only problem there is Magnemite, um, it's, it's part steel type, so if you get hit with a ground type, it's gonna get killed by any ground type attack, because, because it's four times weak to ground. Okay. Actually, yeah, I done. almost have a bad feeling. Oh, no, never mind. Magnemite's a level evolution. Alright. But yeah, Magneton, it, it's, it's slow. It has almost no move pool, though, but its special attack is very high, too. That's pretty cool, then. And Tail Whip. Really? No, I really don't need to fight full right now, because, you know, I'm pretty good at this. But yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not. Uh, don't get Magnemite till later, but here's the only problem there is, like I said, you're going to be stuck with Thundershock for, until level 53, which you get Zap Cannon, which... Zap yeah, it's not a good move. Like, it, okay, it has really high, it's a little stronger than Thunderbolt. It only hits half the time, but if it does, it's a guaranteed paralysis. Well, apparently some, uh, was, oh, Picnic, okay. She was apparently on the phone. And it's, uh, oh, it's one of these guys. One of the ones. Oh, uh, Nidoran. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one, male or female? Um, I think... Wait, the circle with the cross underneath for female or is it male? Yeah, if it's a circle with the plus sign under, it's female. If it's, a uh, the one that has, like, uh, with the symbol for Totodile, that's male. Oh, uh, okay, so that's a female, then. No, yeah, also the like female's it. blue color and the male's, like, purple. That's really weird. But yeah, it, uh, yeah if I didn't tell you, uh, the male Nidorans uh, when it fully evolves, it's my favorite Pokemon. It's uh, Nidoking, King, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because, well, I think, wait, did you use one? I forgot. I think I did, I think I did use one. Yeah, there's a lot, if you're doing a solo of the, of, of like, red, blue, yellow, that thing is great, it can learn a lot of moves. I mean, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Surf, and Thunderbolt, and you've got pretty much all bases covered. Oh, that's pretty cool. Or you could substitute Thunderbolt with Ice Beam, it's up all to right. you, but... But, like I said, there's so many damn things you can teach him. It's not even funny. And the same with his female counterpart's just as good, but her... But she's a little weaker on the offense. Okay. Right. Oh, she's enough of the bell sprouts already. I've had to suffer an entire tower with them after. Oh, God. Well, the good thing is Zubat. They can't kill Zubat. Yeah, that's true. They only. I mean, because Zubat's four times strong against it. Yeah. 
So yeah, like I said, even I mean, pretty much even if you fall to level twenty, Bell's crowd, it wouldn't even it would barely hurt keys. That's pretty cool. No, no, no I'm lying. Actually, if it's that strong, you'd probably be able to fight your keys and knock it out. But it, it would just take a long time. Wrong. Uh, that's gonna have to sleep at least. Remember, uh, I think Aaron from um, uh, Emerald. Um. Oh yeah. That little tiny uh, metal Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm a bit. <laughs> Try killing that thing with nor a normal type attack. You'll never knock mm -hmm. it out because yeah. it, it's it's four yeah. times strong against normal, and it has one of the highest base defenses yeah. in the game. Also, I found a Wooper. Where this thing is. Uh, yeah, Wooper is the same type as Marsh Tomp and Swampert. It's a water ground type. That's what. Why I was cautioning you about Looper, um, because it's extremely annoying because it's immune to electric. Hold on, let me bring up its page quick because I want to uh, see if I can give you. Well, you don't want it because you already have a water type. Oh, yeah, that's true. Go ahead and kill it. Well, no, so, no one's about that. Yeah, no sense in duplicating. Yeah, that's true. You need to have a big variety in my team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could, like, if you wanted, like, have to say all of one type. Because there's, uh, challenge runs where you, you, like, like, a mono, like, a mono flying type means all Pokemon in my team have to have the flying type. Oh, yeah. Or a mono fire type, meaning I only use fire types. But anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, it's really evolved. It's, um, definitely very average overall. Has good HP, yeah. decent attacks and uh, defense, but it's extremely slow. Okay. So it's 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 average. I'll just say that. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a bit of potions because I want to be almost dead. All right. Yeah, like I said, via grass starter. Thankfully, um, your rival's grass starter will never be as good as the one I had was, but. Like I said, can you imagine? I don't think I ever showed you a picture of Chikorita fully evolved. Uh, but that thing can learn uh, Earthquake. Oh, that's the uh, He taught it, rather. That's really cool. Yeah, did I ever tell you about the story when I uh, fought my cousin once? We, were, we both owned Silver. Oh, uh, I don't think so. Jesus yeah, he, Christ! That noise! It's, yeah, I know. Anyway, he took, um,. Yeah, he had a Typhlosion, which is what Cyndaquil evolves into. First is Mimeganium, a fully evolved Chikorita. And uh -huh. he hit me with a Flame Wheel, knocking me fairly low. And uh -huh. then I hit him with Earthquake, and I knocked him out in one hit because of the critical. And uh -huh. he was well, he was like, how can I learn it? It's a grass type. I can't learn ground moves. <laughs> he thought I actually used the Game Shark to teach it, teach it that. That's uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, wow, really? Jesus Christ, these, ex these levels are like really low experience I'm getting. Never mind. Oh, yeah, so a lot of fat dudes on the bridge. Only one. What? Right, sorry about that, guys. We're gonna go ahead and find Fish Guy. I mean, Fisherman, sorry. It's called Fish Guy. I call him Fish Guy, right? Oh, he looks completely different, isn't he? Justin, oh no, Justin Bieber has played. Justin Bieber has a Magikarp. Oh no, this okay, thing is. First of all, Magikarp. If you see a Magikarp, basically it's it might as well have a sign saying you already won because I can't do anything. <laughs> That's true. Well, let's, have, let's give it. No, because like it only it learns tackle at level fifteen, but its attack is so low it can't even go toe to toe with a level five Pokemon. <laughs> Actually, a little, um, when I, you know how I did red a couple years ago? Yeah. The original red? I actually, yeah. you know, uh, I think in Fire Red, you remember that guy who sells you the magic card for 500 bucks? Oh, yeah. I actually bought it only so I could, because all my, the rest of my team were so high level, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to catch a tentacle without knocking it out. Yeah. So I actually trained the Magikarp to 15, and then I used it to catch Tentacle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I actually found use for the most useless water type in the game. Yeah. 
Well, the only reason, I mean, the only reason why I might get a magic cup is just to get to the, the guy right on the sky. Yeah. Karius' only problem, though, is that it's, despite it's water type, but it's yeah. actually stronger on physical offense. Yeah. Right. So in other words, like, because water is a special type attack, yeah. in other words, it doesn't get, you know, it doesn't make use of its good stat. Oh, okay. Wow, this gun, this gun is just giving me so much low experience, it's not even funny anymore. Yeah, Magikarp gives one of the lowest amounts of experience in the game. Now I can see- this guy's- holy crap, this guy's a level 15! I need to tackle, which does absolutely nothing. Yes, yeah. it's funny because, like, Magikarp is so helplessly weak. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, like, its base attack is a mere 10, which- at level 100, it only has 22 to 130 attack. Wow. But when it becomes Gyarados, it goes up to 125 attack base. This guy's it actually taking off. It goes from a wimp to just all of a sudden, like, big bad. Yeah. Yeah, like, the Gyarados, it has good HP and special defense. And really good attack. The only problem is, it's really weak to electric. Uh, okay. Other than that, it's not that bad. It's pretty strong, and you can give it a lot of different uh, yeah. TMs. Like, uh, there's Thunder, Fire Blast, Blizzard, Icy Wind. You can, in other words, you can learn a lot of moves. Yeah, kind of weird something four times weak to electric can learn yeah. electric moves. That's really weird. Also, this guy's really stupid. He sent out a level 50 magic up before a uh, level 5. That's really dumb. All right. Yeah, but there's all the gym leaders tend to save their best for last. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem to do that. Although, in, although in, from Gen 2 and on, <clears throat> like sometimes, like, like let's say my, like my ace Pokemon is uh, Tentacruel, for example. Yeah. If you're a fire type, I might send it out before sending. Because in um, the very first game, yeah. red, blue, yellow, they always went down the line in that order. Oh, okay. But then in um, <clears throat> Generation 2, like, let's say, like, I, I lead with Nidoking, King, you knock it out with a fire type, so I sent out Tentacruel. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Then you send out an electric type to deal with it, so now I send out, you know, something that, that I send out a grass type so it can resist the electric and so on and so forth. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm instead fighting... Of just, instead of just going down the line from the top to the bottom of my list. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Gyarados is really strong, but the only problem is just keep him away from electric types. Right. Because he will get wrecked so hard. What? Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Actually, I saw the wrong person. <laughs> Actually, though, I do have a little secret, though. You might want to hold off on getting a magic card until a little bit later. You'll see why later. Okay. I'm not going to spoil it. Unless, if you spoil it yourself, it's a uh, part. It's after you get, I think, six badges. Okay. Oh, no. Hypnosis. Can hi can hypnosis miss? Yeah, but the fact that you already have oh, there we go. in safe state, it's already locked in as hitting. No, man, no, actually, apparently it changed to it didn't affect the so. Oh. oh I'm lucky. Like, if you save state, like, when the turn starts, the turn will always play out the same way. But, like, okay. like if you save state before, and then, like, let's say I try to use thunder and it misses, and then you reload, wait a couple frames, try again, and might hit. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I saw um, I, I remember watching uh, your playthrough of going through uh, the Duncan's Fifth Factory. Jesus, that place looks hell. You know what's worse is the first time I actually played that, I actually didn't know about Lloyd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went yeah. to the end of that dungeon and finding out that I can't do anything with the rockets. Yeah. And then not to mention, I didn't even have an H2O pendant. Because yeah. you saw how powerful that bomb was with the H2O pendant. Yeah. <laughs> That's 50 or 60 damage if you don't wear it. So if they use two bombs on you, you're dead. Not to mention, I, oh, I did tell you about my off-screen wipeout that night. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna tell me. Yeah, yeah the first oh, time I recording it, I... 
Yeah, there's these uh, vehicle enemies. They can either run out of control, which is set damage, or they can um, expel like some kind of exhaust, which gives uh, the main character an asthma attack, and it does about 30, 40 damage to everybody. The main character gets asthma. The only thing he can do is use or use an asthma spray, and then. What I did is I made the mistake of trying to. I tried to run away, but then it just freed out more exhaust fumes, killed you, and and it was just a matter of time before I got to run over. Also, yeah, I remember. Kelly, hey, will you stop, please? Sure, can you make a stop? Just make a stop. Thank you. All right. As I was saying, I'm. Hold on a second. Kelly, please. Yeah, like I said, once oh, I get to a part uh once I get to the part where I get the next character, I'm unfortunately gonna have to take the uh Franklin badge off of you because her survival is a bit more important. Oh, okay. Oh no, matter in the higher levels, both Nintend and the next character I get have a revival spell. So in what? other words, it does. Well, frankly, it's because oh, okay. it's because Lloyd's so weak; he's kind of useless. No offense. Uh, even, though, even though you're actually right now, you weren't doing that much. Weak, you weren't that much weaker than me, despite yeah. being a couple levels under. Yeah. Also, I really love how the game says I'm a, I'm a sissy. <laughs> That's totally yeah. false because I'm uh, missing this. Oh, game. and then they have a plasma beam uh, weapon. Oh yeah. It says something like it really helps that we Lloyd out. Uh, but like the, all the all like those beam weapons and stuff, yeah. they all make fun of like Lloyd being a wimp. Oh, because you actually you know it's the funny part, and this is a spoiler for later. Yeah. His dad, his dad is the same way as he is. When you find his dad later in the game, he's hiding in a trash can too. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, we're going a little bit over time here. So in the next episode, we're gonna continue going to the water area, and I'll see you next time, guys. And uh, bye. Bye.